We're going to take a break from the interactive to bring you a special segment. As part of our ongoing uninterrupted series and in honor of Black History Month, here's Mo Bamba with part two of this Respect Your OGs, the story of Elgin Baylor. As an athlete, you can never stop learning about the history of the game you play. It's about knowing who came before you and knowing what they did to change the sport and change so much else too. When you talk about the guys like that in basketball, one OG who I think doesn't get enough recognition is Elgin Baylor. Elgin grew up in Washington, D.C. in the 40s and the 50s, back when the city was still segregated. But Elgin could play basketball, and boy was he a star. Ended up far away going to college in the Pacific Northwest, becoming college basketball's best player. The Minneapolis Lakers drafted him with the number one overall pick in 1958. They were one of the worst teams in the league, but in Elgin's first season, he took them to the NBA Finals. That's how great of a player Elgin Baylor was, the original master of hang time, way ahead of his time. The Lakers owner even said that if Elgin hadn't come along, he would have gone out of business. Instead, two years later, he moved the team to Los Angeles, and Elgin was the original Hollywood Lakers star. In 1959, the Lakers were playing an exhibition game in Charleston, West Virginia. When they got to their hotel, Elgin and the team's other two black players weren't allowed to check in. Eventually, the team found a different hotel, but there was still a problem. No restaurant in the town would let them eat inside. They had to go to the supermarket and make sandwiches in their room. So when it came time for the game, Elgin said he wasn't playing. This was the first time an NBA player boycotted playing a game. I want to be treated like a human being, he later said. I'm not an animal put in a cage and let out for a show. Elgin eventually got an apology from the mayor, and when the All-Star game was held in Charleston a few years later, Elgin went. He stayed at that hotel that hadn't let him stay there. He ate at the restaurants that hadn't gave him a table. And African-American leaders in the area told him that what had happened to him led the city to make changes and speed up integration. When I think about everything we went through last year, the stance that the league and the players took against the injustice in our country, I think of Elgin too. What he endured, what he fought for, and what he accomplished for the rest of us. You can't measure that kind of thing. When my generation takes the court, and when we make decisions about what to do with the influence we have, I don't think there's any better role model than Elgin Baylor. He's an OG of OGs, and we've got a responsibility to keep up all the work he started all those years ago. Next week, we have the final installment of Mo Bamba's Respect Your OG series. He talks about the impact Elgin Baylor has had on him. Be sure to check back for that.